The Portuguese Air Force has made a decision that may come as a surprise, despite the fact that it was included in its transformation plan, even though discussions primarily focus on so-called high-intensity commitments. This plan outlines the procurement of fifth-generation fighter bombers, specifically the F-35A, and male drones, medium-altitude long endurance. The Portuguese Ministry of Defense approved the order of 12 units of the new version of the A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft, designated A-29N from the Brazilian manufacturer Embraer on December 17. The manufacturer commented that the A-29N variant of the Super Tucano incorporates advanced avionics, NATO-specific communication systems, and other undisclosed new capabilities that are specifically designed to meet Portugal's operational requirements. They further stated that Portugal has become the first nation to operate the A-29N, thereby taking the lead in the adoption of a platform that is extremely capable and designed to support a diverse array of missions. This version first flew in April 2023. The Portuguese Air Force, on the other hand, said that the A-29N Super Tucano was selected due to its ability to satisfy the operational and logistical requirements it established for the purpose of conducting close air support missions as part of joint and or combined operations, particularly in theaters of operations where the threat is predominantly asymmetric. Furthermore, the A-29 will provide a strategically relevant asset for future national contributions to NATO initiatives and address the lack of organic capacity in terms of advanced pilot training. The EMB-314 Super Tucano, also referred to as the A-29, is a Brazilian turboprop light attack aircraft that is built by Embraer. The Embraer A-29 Super Tucano is powered by the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A68C turboprop engine, which produces approximately 1,600 shaft horsepower. It is an improved variant of the previous EMB-312 Tucano and is intended for a diverse range of applications, such as advanced pilot training, reconnaissance, and light attack. The Brazilian Air Force required a more potent, combat-capable aircraft in the late 1980s, and the Super Tucano was developed to address this need. The initial prototype was launched in 1992, and production commenced in 1999. The Super Tucano is available in two principal configurations. The A-29A is a single-seat variant that is predominantly designed for armed reconnaissance and light attack. A-29B is a twin-seat version that functions as both a light offensive platform and an advanced trainer. This model is capable of accommodating both an instructor and a student, with some internal modifications in comparison to the A-29A. There are versions that are specifically designed to meet the operational requirements of various organizations. The A-29N variant is equipped with sophisticated avionics and NATO-specific communication systems, which are specifically designed to satisfy the needs of international customers. ALX has been particularly designed for light attack roles in the Amazon region of Brazil, with an emphasis on counterinsurgency operations. So why does the era of this light turboprop attack aircraft continue? The Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano is a light attack aircraft that is distinguished from its counterparts by virtue of its operational capabilities, affordability, and versatility. The Super Tucano is known for its rugged design and ability to operate from unpaved runways. It is capable of performing both day and night missions. It is capable of carrying a diverse array of weapons, including precision-guided munitions, and has a maximum endurance of over six hours. It is appealing to countries with financial constraints due to its minimal operational costs. The Super Tucano has been adopted by numerous air forces worldwide as a result of its cost-effectiveness and adaptability, which have been demonstrated in their counterinsurgency operations. The Afghanistan Taliban feared it, while the U.S. Special Forces adore it. It contends with two rivals. The AT-6 Wolverine is also becoming a formidable competitor in the light attack market. However, it has not yet attained the same level of global deployment. Training is the primary objective of the T-6 Texan II, as opposed to combat operations. The Embraer A-29 Super Tucano is highly regarded for its ability to operate in low-altitude missions, particularly in roles such as armed reconnaissance and close air support. 
The Super Tucano is capable of operating efficiently at low speeds and altitudes while maintaining excellent maneuverability, thanks to its stall speed of 80 knots, approximately 148 kilometers per hour, and high maximum speed of approximately 593 kilometers per hour. Its capacity to conduct surveillance without being readily detected is enhanced by the quiet operation of its turboprop engine. The Super Tucano is an excellent choice for continuous support missions, as it can remain over the battlefield for protracted periods and has a range of approximately 1,600 kilometers. Its endurance is up to eight hours. This capability is essential for low-altitude operations, as it can offer tactical advantages through sustained presence. The aircraft is suitable for difficult environments and can operate from unpaved runways, making it advantageous for low-altitude missions that are conducted in close proximity to frontline operations. While other aircraft, such as the AT-6, provide sophisticated capabilities, they frequently have higher operational costs or restrictions that may render them less effective in all low-altitude scenarios. The Super Tucano's unit price is subject to significant fluctuations based on specifications and contracts, typically ranging from $11.6 million to $30 million, depending on the configuration and supplementary equipment. This is significantly less than the cost of sophisticated multi-role fighters, which can exceed $70 million per unit. The Super Tucano is expected to have operating costs of approximately $1,000 to $2,500 per flight hour. This is an appealing alternative for nations with restricted defense budgets, as it is considerably less expensive than numerous jet-powered aircraft. The Super Tucano has proven to be a dependable option, as proven by its over 60,000 combat hours logged globally against insurgent threats. The Super Tucano is capable of transporting a diverse array of ordnance, such as guided munitions, rockets, and bombs, due to its maximal payload capacity of 1,550 kilograms. It is known for its efficiency in reconnaissance missions and close air support, as it is equipped with five hardpoints for weapon attachment. The aircraft's design prioritizes the capability to operate from unpaved runways and minimal operational costs. The rugged design and affordability of the Tucano further solidify its status as a top choice for air forces that are involved in counterinsurgency and similar operations. Now, do you think Super Tucano has no competition? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.